gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have a very special day here today. It's a beautiful day, Celebration Golf Club down in Orlando, Florida. It's probably 70 degrees, a little bit of wind. Literally, I think I uh, saw a report, the nicest day in Orlando history today, which is a win. I'm joined today. We can go snipe over there. They're just gonna be chilling with me. My boy, John, John Smolin, BP. You guys know Brandon from the channel. He's been a, he's been a uh, consistent guest. And uh, I think that's all I got though. Beautiful day. Celebration Golf Club. Let's go right into it. We're on the first hole here, part four. Looks pretty straight away. Bunker up the left side, bunker up the right side. Try and split the fairway here on one. Hold it. That ain't good. Left trees, first tee shot on one. That's about an ugly start. This is also the 10th hole as well too. That's why it's a bad vibe. We're on the 10th hole, I said the wrong hole. Duck hook off the first tee. Let's try and make a par from those left trees over there. All right guys, so yeah, duck hook off the first tee. Not how I want to start the day. And the 10th tee of the day. Got our nines mixed up, starting on the back nine today. So this is our first hole of the day, but the 10th hole here, uh, I went into the drip. I'm gonna go ahead and, and take my drop. So hitting three here now. I got about 100 yards, a little bit into the wind. Try and see if we can get a nice, nice up and down here, save our part, that'd be cool. Good line, see if it's a number. That's short. Just short. So a little short there, try and get up and down, save our bogey. All right, so a little bit short there on the approach shot. Right line though, that thing would've been money. A little bit short, left it out to the right just to touch. Hopefully pretty simple up in here, in here though. And get out of here with a bogey. All right. So we'll take that for our five. So a bogey five here at the first. Uh, the tee shot was about as ugly as it gets. Duck hook right into the lake. And uh, we'll try and forget about that one. Quick memory, one over par through one here at Celebration. So a tough start there at the first hole. Really, really bad uh, tee shot. Actually got a warm up in as well, so I can't even use that as an excuse. Beautiful range here at Celebration. Tried to lunge at it a little bit, jumped, caught it off the toe, and in the hazard it went. So we'll see, try and have a short term memory on this swing. Not the, not the tee shot you really want to see after a bad swing like that. Really tough one here, trouble down the right. Looks like room left though which is encouraging after my first swing. But try and just hit a nice high draw, right? That 150 stake right in the middle of the fairway. 11th hole here, dog leg right, par four. That's gonna be up the left side, Mike. Same thing, toe pulled it over, gonna have a long way in. Grab that left side of the fairway. Still probably just stand a little too far away from it. Keep catching it off the toe a bit. But we'll have a long way home, this par four. All right, so decent, better swing, I would say. Better swing here at the second. Still kind of a toe hook, which wasn't the best shot shape for a dog leg right. So I'll have a long way in here at our second hole of the day, the 11th hole here at Celebration, but try and put a good iron swing on it. Maybe even sneak a birdie in after that first that first bogey at the at the 10th hole. So we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, so we still have a ways in here. Probably playing about all the way 180 all the way to that back pin. That thing was coming backwards. My tee shot, that duck hook spin on it, so. We got a ways left, so about 180 you have. I got a six iron out, ball's a little bit below my feet. Should probably leak a touch. Oh, and it drew, Mike, headed left. Hopefully some room over there. Yeah, probably be pin high left. Must have been aiming a little bit left like that. Hitch hit it really, really pure. Thought it would definitely leak out to the right a little bit, so I was aiming at the left side of the green. Drew from there, so not the best spot. Good contact though, try and make it up and down and save our four. So, little pull here. Missed left side of the green, relatively simple. Up and in here, I'm hoping for. Looks like the, the green's sloping down towards that pin as well to make this one a little bit easier. So try and just kind of loft this thing up on the green. It's about a pace on. Let that ball trickle down right towards the hole. Three times. Three times. 
Good way to get that bogey back at the first. We'll take that three. That, so that'll do. That'll do. Awesome way to make a three there. Another crappy tee shot. Iron shot was good. Pure iron shot. Left myself in a, actually a good position to make a pretty easy up and down. And then wound up just holding the thing, which is phenomenal. So we'll always take that. That's fun. Fun to do for the vlog too. I'm happy you guys were able to see that one. And uh, we're right back to even par here on the back nine of celebration. All right guys, so third hole of the day. 12th hole here. This is a uh, pretty long par five. Dog leg left. Thinking about uh, not being on the road here will be a win. So that's perfect. Right up the right side of the fairway, Mike. Ideal. Be good to go. All right, so a little course management decision here that we're facing. Really good tee shot there. Good to put a, a decent swing on a, on a drive for the first time today. So we have a, a couple things going down. We have a fairway bunker right in the middle of the fairway at 220 yards away. 215 actually, about 220 to carry. Uh, we're dead into the wind right now on this hole. So trying to figure out if I should be aggressive, uh, kind of go right at that bunker, try and carry it. I'm not sure how far out this hazard on the right side comes out. Uh, so I'm considering bailing out to the left a little bit, but it looks like with that far back right pin location, I'm going to then be making the hole kind of long. So that's a lot. That's what's going through my mind right now. Uh, I'm going to have Mike speed up the process for the rest of the way as I kind of think about this, what I'm doing here. All right, so I've decided to head out to the left a little bit. I think that hazard actually comes pretty far out to the middle of the fairway. So I'm just going to hit a nice, smooth hybrid up the, up the left side of this hole here. And that did not do that. It's cutting a little bit. Heading right at the right side of that bunker. Should be actually good. It's going to be fine. Um, I should really start be careful calling out my shots before I hit them because that's actually really good. Should have just said I was going with that. Uh, left the club face open a little bit, got lucky, but we'll take it right in the middle of the fairway. So you can see now how far out that water on the right side comes. I really had no room to work with to the right of this fairway bunker, but got a little bit lucky on that on that block. I actually wound up carrying this fairway bunker though that was like 220 yards out uh, with a little cut, which I didn't think I could, I could do, but we're good. We're not being in a good spot, so we shall take it. Try and make our four. All right, so we have 109 left here uh, to that back right pin. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna have a have a 54 degree. I'm gonna try and just send back there. See if we could uh, see if we could put one on the flag stick. Ah, just pulled, Mike. Hopefully it gets down a little bit, a little left of the pin. All right. So I actually caught that a little bit thin. Came out a little bit left. I think it must have been aiming over there a touch. Uh, so I'll have a, a long one now at this birdie putt here at the 12th. So actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Uh, this is a huge green. I kind of thought I left it to the, the front part of the green, but we ended up getting it, get, getting it back here pretty good. And uh, got an uphill birdie putt. I think this is, this is gonna just kind of want to go down towards the water the whole way. Hit it, had it. I'll clean that up small. Thanks, brother. So par there at the 12th. Hit it, had it on that first putt. A little bit uphill, didn't account for it. And, uh, but we'll take the par there at the long par five. So actually, wound up being a good approach shot there at the 12th. Thought that wedge shot was well short. Got it all the way back there, which is good for the distance control to know about that. But that putt, I feel like I left one out there a little bit. Really slow going back into the hole. I was worried about more about the break than the pace probably. Hit it on a really good line and just left it short. So I feel like I left one out there a little bit, but we'll take the five there at the par five. 12th. Now we got a, a really cool par three coming up over the water. All right, guys, so 13th hole, par three, right over the water. Cool looking one. Got 185 to the stick. Got a six iron out. See if we can get one back there. Ah, nah, high block, Mike. Out towards that right bunker. Came right out of it. Yeah, so that's way, way back there. 
have a, a long chip, try and save a, a three here at 13. So real crappy swing there, stood right out, out of it, kind of felt the wind coming into our face there at the last second, didn't know if I had enough club, really tried to give it extra, and that's just never what you want to do, especially hit into the wind, you get it really spinny, that thing goes way up in the air, stays up there, and now I have not the look that you'd want to try and make an up and down here, the 13th hole, so try and, try and, try and save it, but that was, gonna, that was gonna sting a little bit, that was a bad swing. Deep here, deep, deep for our second shot. Got probably about 20 yards left or so out to the right side of the screen. I'm gonna try and just loft something up relatively high going to the right side of that pin. I think I gotta carry it almost pin high though. Looks like there's a little upslope going towards, towards the pin. Gotta get a left. Not the shot there. Left it way up high to the right. Struggling actually with getting the face a little more lofted than I'd like at impact right now. Kind of coming down, standing that, that club face up a little bit, resulting in some high right. So even the pitch shots, those could happen too, which is interesting. But trying to save this long one for our three here at, at 13. All right, so left all of 20 feet here. So for for the par, I think this guy, I think it's got to come down to the left a little bit. That last putt there on 12 was pretty slow, so I'm going to try and hit this one a little. Try and keep it out to the right of that hole. Yeah, just played it a, a little too far out, a little too much break. Thank you, boys. So a four there. Bad tee shot, bad chip shot, usually results in bogeys. All right, guys, so 14th hole here, 390. This thing's playing. I'm just going to go with a four wood. We got water, some trouble up the right side, pretty tight hole. Uh, just looks like you're trying to place one off the tee. Be in a good position for that approach shot. That'll work. A little bunt right down the middle. That's that go to. That's that go to 235, 241. A uh, little hold off cut. Good to have that fairway finder. This Maverick 4 wood doing just a trick. All right, guys, we got 115 left. I got a little gap wedge to this back pin. Scald it. Might get away with it. <laughs> And I do. Good shot. Good shot. Thank you. So it's actually a shot I've been working on the last last couple weeks. You hit the bottom three grooves instead of the entire club face. It reacts nice. It's tough. It's a challenging one, but pulled it off there. Also known as a skull to about 15 feet. We'll take it. So sculled one up here. We'll take it though. Try and take advantage of a good look. A little up the hill. Try, try and slide a little right towards the water. All right, so gave myself that last one. Uh, so we tapped in for a par there and uh, got a really lucky break on the approach shot and not the best to not take advantage of it for a relatively short putt. That was like a eight footer within 10 feet. So to not convert on that is never good, never good, but it's a par nonetheless uh, after a relatively lucky wedge shot. So we'll take it onto the 15th little dog leg right. All right guys, so onto the 15th, relatively tight driving hole here, dog leg right. Uh, we're gonna try and just keep one out to the to the right of that 150 stake out there. A good smooth swing. Gonna have to go on that line. Think so? All right, we'll see. I did five. How many push-ups did I do before? 15. I think I did 15 push-ups this morning. Might have needed 20 to get over it on that line, but we'll see. Hit and hope. We call that one. All right, so the answer was yes. Enough push-ups this morning to uh, to carry that corner. Thought that was a little bit too aggressive of a line, but wind up okay. Good kick out in the fairway. Got about 80, 80 yards left or so. Just a little left of the pin. Deep. So a little bit deep. I think that went over the back edge. Tough green to hit, kind of one of those uh, like rectangular greens here, a little sideways, but see if we can make it up and down. All right, so dicey, dicey little chip shot we got here. Awkward stance, both a little bit above my feet. I'm gonna go ahead and just offset that though by choking down the club a bit. So the more above your feet the ball is, the more you're gonna want to choke down that club. Those two will offset, and then you don't have to think twice about it. 
So I'm gonna try and get this up to the left of that pin. Probably only trying to land it a little bit on. Going again. All right, so pretty good there. That thing's still running away. Put at a pretty good spot. We'll still have about three or four feet up the hill. Save that part. All right, so straight up the hill now. All right, no good. Left that thing low, still getting the putting back a little bit. Uh, it's a tough bogey after a good chip shot at the 15th. Tough break there, bad putt, just kind of left it low. Hit it right where I wanted it to, misread. The thing just could not have missed by less and uh, and just scared that front edge. So bad bogey there after a good chip shot. Can't be missing greens though also from 80 yards. That, that never helps too, so. Decent tee ball, bad wedge shot, good chip shot, bad putt. And that's a, that's a bogey at the 15th. All right, so 16th hole here, got a seven iron. Buck 75 to that middle pin. Drifting right, gonna be on the... So call it this right bunker here, green side bunker, zero room to work with. We have to get this ball up and down in a hurry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that club face wide open. Just worry about getting enough sand out of this thing. Hope we just landed it on the front edge. Wow, look at this thing go dead left. Man. All right, so I didn't see that half of it coming at all. So, landed it just where I wanted to. Probably should have been aiming up on that top plateau a little bit, but good shot though, executed it well. Try and make a long par putt. So a little left to right here. Looks like it's going back up the hill, breaking towards the water. Give it a run. So bumpy, man. I got fouled. I got fouled right here. Aaron. Bogey. Another one. Four here. The 16th. So not ideal at the moment uh, right now, people. We got just went to three over par. Got four. Have four bogey so far in these first uh, seven holes, and and that and that chip in that's got us back to three over. So. Uh, not listen. Trying to keep in perspective. Second round out here. Scoring's going to be a little off. The putter was so ridiculously hot yesterday at Legends, and uh, so it's going to be tough to keep up with that. If you guys watch the vlog, Legends course. If you want to see me make putts, it's a great vlog to watch. I'm going to make a lot of putts here coming up, but that's going to be the, that's going to be the thing that's hurting me, or has been the thing rather that's been hurting me so far in the round. Just not converting, you know, five footers, and then having a little bit too much meat on the bone for these pars. So too many bogeys so far. Cool chipping at the 11th to, to get a shot back, but. We're gonna need a birdie or two here down the stretch to, to bring it back and then go shoot a number over in part two of our, our next vlog coming at Celebration Golf Club. Happy to be here. All right guys, 17th hole here. Dog leg right. Just looking, looking for the center of the club face. All right, high cut right up the middle. I'll take that one. So good driver swing there. Good to see good contact. Chris went off the tee. Should have inside a buck 50. Would love to make a birdie. We have 17 and 18. 18 I think is a long par five. So possible two birdies to end this nine. That'd be fantastic. Get it back to one over and uh, in a position to, to put up a decent number here on the back nine of celebration. But good swing there with the driver. Let's try and convert here on a good solid mid iron shot. All right, so a buck 30 left here at the 17th. Really trying to take advantage. Got a wedge in hand, got a gap wedge in hand. Trying to throw one on a stick here. Make it three. Pulled. Pulled, pulled, pulled. Really bad swing. Out to the left. Way over the top of it, trying to do too much. Try and, uh, try and get up and down. Gotta keep some momentum going here. All right guys, so a good number here, but not the right direction. Interested to see that one on camera later. I'm sure I was aiming dead left and uh, not not the play. But let's see if we can get this one up and down. Try and save a four. All 
All right, it's kind of a bad kick off that side hill lie, but we'll try and make our putt here now. Save a, save a nice par. So a little tester here left, left myself. Try and clean it up for the floor. Thank you, brother. Good save there, go up and down. Stay at three over par, celebration. All right, guys, 18th hole of the day, last hole of the vlog for part one here at Celebration. Par five, gonna try and just get one up the right side of this hole. Going up the right side, block pretty good again. We shall see, another bad driver swing. All right, so another block. This is, uh, I apologize if you're watching at home, uh, with looking at my driver swing all day. It's been just horrendous, a lot of bad drives. That one, another just high block, start on the middle of the fairway, high balloony. Now I end up in here on the right side, but try and get one up here. I got a six iron, just trying to take one over these trees for a little layup. That would be perfect, that was a good swing. Getting Brandon's approval. Go back out and play, back in the fairway. Maybe sneak in a birdie and the vlog here. Let's do it. All right, so a good layup. Got about a buck 50 left into this hole. Got just a nine iron out. Trying to throw one into that, that back right of the green. Let's see what we could do. Up high, a little blocky again, short right of the green. Chipping a putt, not a good swing. Another little bit of a stand and stab at it. I got some work to do with the range after this, people. But I try and keep it as honest as I can. Shot Shaver golf vlogs, you gotta see the good rounds, you gotta see the bad rounds. Uh, and I have some work to do to get up and down to remain at three over par at the beautiful, though, Celebration Golf Course here at the back nine. And it's uh, hit some bad swings today. I got some work, some work to do on the game, people. But we'll dial it in. All right, so a little bit of an upslope here we got. My left foot's gonna be planted a touch. Got the number pretty good, just same thing. Just bailed out to the right, like I was saying. Standing it up a touch, stabbing at the ball, and not good. But folks up now, trying to get this thing up and down. Save our par here at the last. All right, so a good play there. A couple feet up the hill. to stay at three over par for the day here. All right, so a little slider here. To end it now, a little left to right coming out of the bunker. Trying to just keep this thing out to the left side of the cup the whole way. Good. All right, so a good putt there at the last to save a par out of the bunker, a little sandy. And uh, an ugly run, but a beautiful day, better than New York. So happy to be out here, plus three for the day here at Celebration on the Back Nine. I so greatly appreciate you watching. If you liked what you saw today, leave a like below, leave a comment, what you wanna see next time, your favorite shot from the day. And, uh, and again, I great, uh, greatly appreciate you being here. We'll see you next time.